I don't know how to start off my video since I'm not saying, uh, hey guys, what's up, it's Vulture here. But this is basically my, I say basically so much, but this is my reaction for the Revelation Zombies map for DLC for Salvation. This isn't a trailer breakdown or anything like that. I'm just going to be watching it with you as if I was your friend sitting with you and watching it. But uh, if something obviously happens, that's cool. Obviously, I say that so much too. But if something happens that's cool, of course I'm going to, you know, say something about it. But uh, yeah, so let's react. The Day of Reckoning is here. In the best movie of 2014. No, I'm kidding. I, I used to be able to do it good, but, you know, I can't. Uh, all right. There's writing I can't read. There's a Pothigan people. All right, I'm going to be quiet. Whoa, there's zombies. That looks like Mob of the Dead. That for sure looks like Mob of the Dead. Or Alcatraz, whatever you know it is. Oh, cool, the Vesper's coming back. Sorry, I'm kidding. Yeah, that definitely looks like, uh, it, it, you know, it seems as if, oh, right, well, those are basically the monkeys of uh, Shadows of Evil. But it basically looks like a bunch of, you know, zombies map put put together. That was my theory on the whole thing once I saw the prologue. Oh, shit. Oh, the Apothecan Servant's coming back. Maybe that's what uh, Jason Blundell was, uh, was uh, talking about. Uh, that definitely looked like a Margwa, and, you know, of course, the fire shield, the gravity spikes, what the fuck? Oh, and a friend did tell me at this point in the video, it sounded like a Tempest. Uh, I can, I can play that, so I'll play that, uh, at the end when we, when we discuss it. Uh, the Dutch Machine, it doesn't really seem like, you know, hold on, well, it's not done yet. Alright, yeah, and that's crazy. Alright. All right, well, all right, it's over. All right, let's talk about it for a second. All right, um, I ran out of time, but this is, I have time now. But the trailer was, all right, here, here's my theory on what they're going to do for Revelations. I think it's going to be a map built of other zombies maps. So they're going to throw Shangri-La, Moon, Guy Rise, Mile of the Dead, Origins, into, you know, just one, they're going to make it one whole map. Or it'll be like Transit where they threw in like Easter eggs of, parts of different map uh, it better not be like transit i ain't trying to have no mud or fog or them denizens thing anyways it that's what i think they're gonna do and then th th this is me going out on a limb but let's say that um because look the gravity spikes in the apothecary server that's the only new thing i saw in the trailer imagine if they just brought those back and there's no new other stuff it's just gravity spikes and apothecary and then we have this new map that'd be so stupid what i think they're gonna do is if you teleport to a certain part of the map, this isn't me going on a limb, by the way. This is just me. this is so far fetched. But what if they made it so where if you teleport to a different part of the map, you have to, you know, there's gonna be another wonder weapon specifically only for that part of the map. And yeah, I don't know, but I'm pretty interested to see. It may, it all makes sense though how that theory can be true though. Not not the if you get teleported to a different part of the map, you have to use that wonder weapon and then, you know. Uh, basically the theory is it's, it makes sense that we could be having a map built up of other zombie maps and then you gotta like hop into and like the teleporter like the teleporter they used to get into the rift from shadows of evil you know maybe they have them teleporters all over the map and you can teleport to different maps or as i said it might be like transit and they just have easter eggs of different maps inside you know the main map but uh, I would be okay with having another transit map as long as it's not like transit if it's just you know You run through Yeah, like teleporting not you have to run somewhere But you can teleport somewhere and it'll be like that because the fog and mud it totally ruined transit And you know in my opinion and the only way to get rid of the fog is if you did a glitch in theater mode And that it's not helpful because you know it's theater mode you're watching what you've already done But th this is my theory on it. It sucks that there wasn't really anything besides the apothecan obviously that's cool it sucks they didn't really add anything new in the trailer. Like, there wasn't a new perk or there wasn't, um, uh, you know, it didn't showcase a new Wonder Weapon or anything um, that I've seen. I don't know. I might have missed it. But, yeah, this is my reaction, guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like. Uh, I make all these type of videos when anything comes out like this. So, uh, stay tuned. And uh, I'll stay tuned for other videos I'm going to be uploading probably tonight or tomorrow. And this has been Vulture. Thank you for watching.